Dear Diary, it's us, Sanchi Bear. Don't know if you've been watching the news since your Google Doc, but we're starting to feel a little worried. Some people on Reddit are saying that a bat made love to a snake and then blew a tender kiss to a human being, and people are getting really sick about it. Not really sure what that has to do with us, but there are rumors of swirling that things around here are gonna change in a big way. We may even get to work from home. Ooh la la! Either way, who knew bats and snakes were into each other? You can't get much crazier than that. Dear Diary, Just got an email from the boss, got the vibe that the office won't be open for a while, and that we may possibly not have a job anymore. Ha <laughs> What a stinker. April Fool's Day is coming up, and it's never been earlier than this. The next couple of weeks seem like they might be a little hectic, but it will be nice to get away from the office and catch up on some reading. Some rare me time is long overdue. Seems like the world is overreacting a little. This too shall pass. LOL. It's been one week since the quarantine. Stuck inside my house, I'm going crazy. Three days since downloading Zoom, never heard of it before, and now it is all I do. Five days since new groceries, I am scared that a cashier at Wackman's will infect me. Yesterday, I noticed I'm smelly. It'll still be two days till I shower, sorry. It'll still be two days till I shower, sorry. Can't bring myself to shower yet, you know I'm sorry. Dear Diary, it's been over a week and it seems like this coronavirus is still kicking around. It's frustrating, but we're taking great comfort in spending time with the family and cooking every single meal of the day from scratch for the first time. Feels like we've really got a handle on things. A couple of regular millennial Martha Stewarts. In other news, the boss says we can keep getting paid in assorted gift cards as long as we work remotely. Never thought we'd be nostalgic for the days at the office. We find ourselves replaying all of the incredibly deep conversations we had with our coworkers. We were so close. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> I'm just living the dream, my friend. Mm, what a week. Almost Friday. Just got a few more emails to send. How about that weather? It looks like it's raining. Idle chit chat is really my thing. I'll probably bring it up again later just for the sake of my routine complaining. Having fun yet? Oh, you know it. I'm dying inside. Trying not to show it. One more person says, not before I've had my coffee, I'll karate chop them in their stupid fucking mouth. <laughs> hey, how's it going, pal? Just another day in paradise. Take a deep breath of that stale recycled air. Water cooler gossip distracts you from how you're still a million bucks shy of being a millionaire. Hey, how was your weekend? Not long enough. Spent some time with the family and snuck in nine holes. Hit up the cathedral on Sunday morning just to sing about the damnation of our mortal souls. Having fun yet? Oh, you know it. I'm dying inside and trying not to show it. If one more person says, not before I've had my coffee, I will hex them into another dimension. Oh no, passing someone in the hall. Better flash a natural smile, hide the pain of it all. Oh no, passing someone in the hall. Better flash a natural smile, hide the pain of it all. Having fun yet? Oh, you know it. I'm dying inside and trying not to show it. If one more person says, not before I've had my coffee, I will steal their identity and ruin their credit scores, seduce their spouse, and break up their marriage and buy their kids a puppy so they love me more than they ever loved their corporate suit of a stupid parent, then disappear entirely, save for a lone mug of coffee with a note that reads, Holy fucking shit, Greg, here's your coffee. Asshole. Dear Dad.
diary. We have made every meal that has ever been made, including loaves of bread. Our blood is made of sourdough starter, and my tears contain traces of active dry yeast. We know because we have tasted them. We have been scouring the internet for literally anything new that we have yet to try, but it is not as easy as we had hoped it would be. Your husband thought it was good food, but I just want to see the ingredients, dude. I don't want to read your blog post. I just need to know how to make pot roast. Unloading all this info about your family won't make the food taste any better to me. I don't want to read your blog post. I just need to make snacks for a Zoom thing I'm hosting. The link said your dinner was easy and quick, but this recipe is neither, and it's making me sick. Not that Corona sick. I don't want to read your blog post. I don't think boiling water is a reason to boast. You're not Martha Stewart, so why even try? In fact, I wish that you wouldn't. I'm so hungry I could cry. List at the top of the page, put the oven pre-temp at the top of the page, put the goddamn steps at the top of the page, put the important shit at the top of the page. Ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Just checking in. How are you holding up? I can't believe it's already been a month of this. You are telling me uh, I never knew how literal the term stay-at-home mom could be. Um, haven't left the house in months. I've seen every Disney movie at least twice, and I think I'm starting to communicate with adults uh, with the vocabulary of a small child, so that's cool. Uh, I mean, it's hard enough going through this, literally just trying to take care of myself, and I cannot possibly fathom what it is like trying to entertain and take care of a child on top of that. Yeah, it's definitely not how I pictured parenthood, but 2020 isn't really how I pictured much of anything except maybe the end times. So, you know, (laughs) just taking it a day at a time. I mean, it's a good attitude. I'm trying to do the same, but um, I'm really just watching thousands of TikToks and I think my cats are getting tired of me trying to show them TikToks. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry to cut you off. Uh, but I gotta go. Mama had too much coffee earlier, and now she needs to go use the potty to tinkle, or she's gonna have an accident. So, um, okay, I love you. Bye bye. Oh my god, it's worse than I thought. childhood was made up of a lot of lies cause parents are just idiots that somehow reproduced just because you're older doesn't make you less confused who the hell put me in charge of another human life still trying to get a grip on mine Didn't know kids needed more than like berries and seeds. Um, Just doing my best, you feel. Labor was hard. I was very disappointed to find out the stork's not even real. On my white t-shirt, is it Hershey's or feces? Life's biggest mystery. Toddler boarding school. Boarding school's near me. All in my Google search history. Parents. 
us are just idiots that somehow reproduce. Just because you're older doesn't make you less confused. Who the hell put me in charge of another human life? I'm still trying to get a grip on mine. Y'all ready for the breakdown? Do, 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 do. It's an emotional breakdown. And it's been happening more often than not, I would say. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> like homeschooling, I, I don't know how teachers do it every day as a chosen job. It, it seems really hard. Uh, I can't teach myself to do most things, so teaching someone else, it's not computing. Also trying to potty train my child in these trying times, so not that you'd be coming over anyways, but if you do, don't sit down anywhere. And that's all I'll say about that. And this this little kid, I'm the only thing standing between her and death. It's kind of crazy. Don't get me wrong, I know this song may make me seem unfit. It's more that now I am in on the joke that adults are full of shit. I myself am just a baby in a larger skin suit, making it up as I go. With a whole lot of luck and a little deceit, my daughter won't have to know, at least not for a little while. That parents are just idiots that somehow reproduce. Just because you're older doesn't make you less confused. Who the hell put me in charge of another human life? You like fucking need to get a grip. Still trying to get a grip on mine. Dear Diary. Uh, what's up? No, really, what's up? Talked to a friend recently who asked us for a good recipe for sourdough loaf. Haven't told anyone about our bread habit except you. Are you talking about us behind our back? Losing my mind. Oh yes, I'm losing my mind. It was a mess. Time and here we are. I've never felt so confined. Can't wait to leave this all behind. Until then, I find I'm losing my mind. Yes, I'm losing my mind. Stuck inside. Dear Diary. Hi, us again. Sorry we accused you of talking about us behind our back. We don't know how to feel anymore. How to smile, how to cry, how to laugh. Back in the day, Saint Hubert's number one export was chuckles. It feels a lot harder to be funny during quarantine, you know? There's so much icky stuff going on, it's hard to remember how to clown. at you coordinating the mask and the chain i know i'm very put together i have this very cute strawberry mask 
and little tiny strawberries on my on my Jane. That is adorable. You, if I yeah. may say, you've never looked more put put together. But is it? I don't remember you having that before. Is it new? Yeah, um, I've been getting a lot of Instagram ads for like really really cute stuff, and it's getting kind of out of control. I'm getting packages every day, but I look really good for nobody. <laughs> So. Huh. so you get ads for cute stuff like that, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's, like, pretty spot on. I mean, like, they hmm. kind of, they know who I am. Cool. Must be nice. Was, that seems kind of passive-aggressive. What was that about? What? Nothing. Um, okay. I got. I gotta go. Oh, okay. Bye, Bye I guess. It's just getting really weird. Go away. Oh, shit. Okay. Oops, sorry. They say Big Brother is always watching, but I must say I don't mind the things he keeps suggesting for me. I can get behind floral dresses, retro shades, and trendy shoes to boot. These ads, they may be targeted, but hey, they keep me cute. Wow, yeah, it makes me kind of angry how cute they make you. I look great. Yeah, I get ads too, but yeah? they're like a little different now that I'm 30. Oh. It's like, oh God, another Botox ad. I didn't think I looked that bad. And when did I get pecked? Someone interested in freezing their ex online therapy is now pitched to me like I'm some kind of wreck. And I'm especially confused that a lot of my ads seem to feature Shrek. You know what, me too. Is it like a millennial thing? I don't, I get a lot of Shrek. That's weird. They say Big oh Brother God, is always watching, ad. but I, I must didn't say I don't mind. Suggesting for me, I interested in freezing her eggs. Online therapy dresses, retro shades, and trendy shoes to boot. I need someone to explain why these ads have Shrek. I love Shrek, man. I love Shrek too. I love him. Donkey. Donkey. Yeah, it's amazing. What else do you get ads for? You know, it's it's a lot of dildos. Dildos and dildos. Dildos. So many dildos. I get those too, like stores that you don't even know make dildos. No, and like there's spikes, they're going the wrong way. I just learned what a butt hook is. It's what a time to be alive. I didn't look up this stuff. I it just comes to me. I don't know. All right. Yeah. Dear diary. Work hasn't been going so good. We don't have a job anymore. But good news. We're eligible for another $600 a week on top of unemployment because the world is on fire. Huzzah! Huzzah! Some friends of ours have been trying to convince us to supplement our unemployment income with a fun investment circle idea. Our inbox sounds like... R. Kelly's remix to Ignition. Uh, and I've been thinking a lot about R. Kelly, the whole Me Too movement thing. Oh, no. I don't think he should have been canceled. Fuck. I don't think he was one that they should have. They, he was fine. I remember why I didn't talk to her before. Uh, okay, <laughs> did you have something you needed to ask me? Yeah, you know. I have been pretty busy, too. I started my own business, but it's still pretty new. Okay. Which brings me to the 
reason I reached out to you today. Oh no. Would you like to buy some lipstick? I am selling Mary Kay. That tracks. Yes. I'm getting that pink car, baby. Just a stay at home mom till I became an entrepreneur. Sliding in, in your DMs. DMs. I don't do that door to door shit. shit. It's not a pyramid scheme. And I swear it's legit. Won't you help me make a sale tonight? How do these people keep finding me? I feel like when I leave high school, it should be over. And oh god, another message from my old coworker Karen. What's up, Karen? <laughs> Do you remember me? <laughs> Another cog in the corporate machine. That cubicle hell just wasn't my scene. I had to get out to pursue my dreams. Karen, I haven't heard from you since they escorted you from the building for trying to take down all of the, the motivational posters in our office when they said they were shutting down for their... For for quarantine. Well, what's, are you okay? Uh, I, I would say I'm hanging in there. How are you? <sighs> the kitten, the kitten poster. Nice. That one. That's what I'm uh, talking about. All right. Well, you go, know, go on. Well, now that I'm out on my own, I'm back on my grind from the comfort of my home. Okay. We should get together, maybe grab a glass of wine. Mm, mm. I'd rather not drink with you. It doesn't mix with my medication, but, you know, I'll still tell you all about my anti-aging skincare line. You know, I thought you might. Crow's feet. They'll get you. What a bitch. It's also, you gotta drink water. Drink water. Just a stay-at-home mom um, I became an entrepreneur. Sliding in my DMs. I don't do that door to door shit. It's not a pyramid scheme, and I swear it's legit. Help me make a sale tonight. It's like every time I log onto the computer, it's either the news or somebody in my inbox saying something like, I need one more member for my team. Never really been a team player, but thanks anyways. Essential oils will change your life. Vaccines don't cause autism. Debatable, I don't know. Check out my fun variety of CBD-infused patterned leggings. What? Uh, what? Um, relaxing. How does, how does that even work? Also, I'm throwing a Tupperware party. No masks. Actually, they're forbidden. Not only are they not required, you cannot have them. I would rather eat glass, but also, even if it wasn't you, why throw a Tupperware party when you could throw a Chinese food party where everyone orders a bunch of Chinese food, and then at the end, you get a belly full of lo mein and some free Tupperware you can use forever. That is fair. Until you put tomato tomato sauce in it oh yeah and then it's it's orange orange it's gross yeah no, pretty like gross that. just a stay at home mom i became an entrepreneur sliding into my dms down to that door to door shit not a pyramid scheme and i swear it's legit you ain't shit help me Dear Diary, how's the goat milking been going? Yeah, that's right. We know the truth about your real identity. We know we weren't crazy when we suspected you were talking about us behind our back. Last night, I found a pat of butter next to my phone on the nightstand. That can only mean one thing. You, our diary, are the physical reincarnation of a colonial woman. Hope your 17 children are pulling their weight on the farm since birth control slash family planning wasn't invented for you yet and your life was a grander hell than the afterlife you now occupy. Anyways, if you weren't always milking sheeps or whatever the fuck, do you think you would have liked pizza? All we eat is takeout now since restaurants are slowly opening, but I don't trust anyone as far as I can throw them and I have weak arms. We've been trying to find new places to eat online, but found that these apps that rate and rank restaurants based on customer reviews are a, kind of a worse nightmare than your entire life and afterlife. Keep our name out of your mouth, you white bonnet bitch. TTYL. My life used to be so small, quiet, no one to listen to me. My days all the 
same Food bland with no one to blame A blip on society's map I would scream into the void Thought there must be an app for that So I whipped out my third gen android Long gone are the days Of simply rolling my eyes at Homemade pot pies now I write essays on why I wish I could give less than one out of five stars. I'm an elite yelper, I've got opinions and you should care what I think. Zero culinary training, but somehow I'm an expert on food and drink. No complimentary bread. Music too hipster, too loud, hurt my head Prices were so high Cost me an arm and a leg These tacos aren't even authentic Mexican food Uh, I would know Oh, yeah? Yeah, because one time I went on a cruise Oh, uh, bad choice Yeah, got an STD in Mexico I thought that was Hawaii mm, Aloha A secret I'll share with you Sometimes I don't even eat the food I'm a struggling comedian And I just post my routine in all my reviews I'm an elite yelper, I've got opinions And you should care what I think Zero culinary training But somehow I'm an expert on food and drink you know, the other day I fucked up big time at work and my boss like really laid into me. It's like, you know, I don't think you should come here anymore. It definitely. <laughs> I was so messed up about it, I didn't know what to do. So I went home, took my laptop out and just crushed a 400 word two star review. So I pull up to this joint and right away they're like, excuse me, ma'am, you can't come in here without a mask. And I was like, excuse me, ma'am, you can't come here with like, serve me my fries now. And they were like, I, this is literally the rules. I'm 17 years old. I work at a McDonald's. I don't know what you want from me. And anyways, I, I burnt that whole fucking place down to the ground. Yeah, and I meant it. I would do it again. And also the fries, they were burnt. They were burnt fries. All right? Fuck everybody but me. Fuck everybody but me. Fuck everybody but me. Fuck everybody but me. Cause I'm an elite yelper. I've got opinions and you should care what I think. Zero culinary training. But somehow I'm an expert on food and drink. Dear Saint Hubert, it's me, your diary. You have completely missed the mark with assuming that I'm a colonial woman. I am, however, still aware and sentient. I am the soul of Frederick Douglass, and yeah, Somehow, I am doomed to guide you vapid dunces through this time in your life. Though it is an absolute anomaly that we've established communication through dimensions, and in this life and the one I occupy, I have only one message to pass on. Those Yelp assholes seem like they probably would have owned slaves. Love, Freddie D. Oh my god, he's right! This song is rated HT for hot take. Saw you at the protest with your flimsy homemade sign. It read, I need a haircut, and to that I'll just say fine. But it seems a little like you think your haircut's worth the price of not just a cut and color, but risking your hairdresser's life. Yikes. You see the service as essential, but the worker's health is not. As long as you're not inconvenienced, everybody else can rock. I've just gotta say, seeing the way you rent and rave, it seems like you would have owned slaves. 
scream that you're a patriot, and maybe that is true. Our country's founding fathers enjoyed owning people too. I do agree that making an employee choose between a paycheck and their safety is the new American dream. You're bored of social distancing and face masks hide your smile. Who cares if people die for you to maintain your lifestyle? Maybe these workers should be paid more than minimum wage. It seems like you would have owned slaves. I guess no one ever gave you the attention that you crave. Cause I'm pretty sure you're cool with owning slaves. Dear Ghost of Frederick Douglass, Ever since you made that really valid point about elite Yelpers, I've been thinking a lot about race. On top of this global pandemic, America has been forced to reckon with its racist history and racist right now. Of all of the viruses that could kill us, it really seems like hate will be the one that humanity will fall to. My diary, The Ghost of Frederick Douglass. It's heartbreaking to feel like we don't have a chance in protecting the people we love because their skin, because of a system that was built to ignore them, because there isn't enough money to make people in charge care about their lives. All we know is we gotta keep going forward and do what we can to help. This year really sucked. No other way to put it. it Feels like some assholes ran out on the bill And we're being asked to foot it Yeah, it's hard to feel together When we're forced to stay apart But I know that we know better I believe it in my heart This will pass It may pass like a kidney stone But it won't last forever Even if we feel alone there will be things we cannot save But just know if you never gave a damn before I hope you start to give a damn a little more Hi Hey, 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 what's going on? Um, you know just languishing in the insanity of 2020, eating everything, feeling everything. Yeah, uh, there's a lot to feel. I can't even tell the difference between a depression nap and the exhaustion naps that I have anymore. I'm just so tired. Okay, but aren't you narcoleptic? Yeah, but like, it's more than that. I, like, I can't stop thinking about how much things have changed this year and how much they're going to keep changing for better or for worse. Yeah. It's fucking relentless. And I just want everyone to get through it right now so that we can arrive somewhere better, you know? Yeah, totally. Um, right now certainly isn't ideal. I'll agree with you there. But, you know, there's not much to do, but take care of each other best we can. And then maybe like the eventual now will be better for everyone. The eventual now? Yeah, you know, like there's the past and then there's now, and then there's the eventual now, the future. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. Okay, well. Let's promise each other something. Even though this has sucked ass in a lot of ways, uh, let's just not let it get us down. Let's like fucking roast marshmallows over the flames of 2020 hell and make uh, triumphant, optimistic s'mores. You down? Hell yeah. You know what? Cheers to the eventual now. To the eventual now. Clink. Clink. Lord knows it's been poor 
Jokes just don't rip the same. 2020 thought it broke us, bitch. Bring on that plague of locusts. This hellfire is burning bright, but baby, we look good in this light. Comedy is nothing but tragedy plus time. So when life gives you lemons, just take that corona with some lime. Shaking hands is no longer allowed. Let's agree it was weird the whole time. No more lamp fishes or sweaty palms. Future, let's make it a crime Punishable by death Let's get this bread hits different Now that all your worst friends make sourdough Invested all my money in active yeast Now that I got this stimulus check to blow oh, 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 oh. 2020 thought it broke us Bitch, bring on that plague of locusts this hellfire is burning bright, but baby, we look good in this light. Comedy is nothing but tragedy plus time. So when life gives you lemons, just take that corona with some lime. Next year we won't need money. One day go back to normal As long as we don't lose Alex Trebek Category is He is immortal oh, oh. Hang in there Alex We will burn it all down There will be societal upheaval Watching us will see that we're just stupid. Not an evil. So stupid. So stupid. We're just stupid. Really 2020 thought it broke us. Bitch, bring on that plague of locusts. This hellfire is burning bright, but baby, we look good in this light. Comedy is nothing but tragedy plus time. So when life gives you lemons, but chug that corona with some lime. But chug, but chug, but chug.
Face. 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 Give it. Serve it. Eat it. Okay. Love it. Cut it off. Wendy's. When you're here, your family. Okay. Ready? Let's collect ourselves. 